Hey guys, it's Sassy here, and I'm so sorry about the wait for a day. I was feeling really sick, as in I had a fever. I was lightheaded, and I was feeling dizzy, and I had a headache, and so I hope you can accept my apology most of you or all of you most of you most likely most of you hopefully and uh and so i and so uh, also this is this scene i mean setup is actually going to be part of well it was going to be part of the april fools the lps april fools skit but i felt that i'm sorry but i felt that i have to cancel the lps april fools skit because I don't have time before tomorrow, as in I am really busy tomorrow, and I might not get off it done today, and so I'm so sorry about that, but look on the bright side, there's Ari's next year. And so let's begin. Okay, so I already cut it out. The two pieces for the closet door for my LPS. Next, I'm going to take two of these pins or thumbtacks. I'm not so... I'm not quite sure what they are exactly. By the way, you don't have to use these. In fact, you can use beads, but I prefer to do these because they look exactly like door handles to me. Next, we're going to take this and we're going to poke it through. If we're using beads, though, we're going to have to hot glue them like right here because if you because the doors will this will be the door handle so it makes sense to have it there because you oh would have to open the door for it and so now it's time to taste them on. We're going to want to have to taste them on on the insides though. And so this is what I mean. Okay, so I taped it to the closet using, I mean putting the tape on the door and just putting it here and taping it down. Next, we're going to want the other door. This time, we're going to want to make one bigger door. Okay, so we're gonna have to need a ruler this time. And so this is to rinse it. Okay, so I measure in two inches and uh, for the height of the door, I'm going to measure three and a half inches. Okay, so we're going to want to mark it down with a pencil or a pen. like this and for the other side we're going to measure up to three and a half inches 
Next, I'm going to cut this out using a big scissor so that I will save time. Okay, so next we're going to want to tape it on the side. Okay, so last but not least, we're going to want to take one of these things again and put it through here. And so that is how you make a closet door. Okay, so I'm going to push this back now against this corner. Okay, so next step, I'm going to take two food sopkins that I'm using as stuff like, yes, plus toys, and I'm going to use this fuzzy teddy bear door thing for a door and this eraser, cow eraser for a stuffed animal. These are going to be my stuffed animals and these are pussy. And so I'm putting this teddy bear in the middle and then this cow eraser right here. And next, this dessert thing, dessert sopkins thing, uh, whatever it is, I'm putting here. And this sopkins cookie, I'm putting right here. And last but not least, I have an emoji. I think it's a it's some kind of stress thing and i'm putting it right here in the middle because i'm using this as an lps pillow a mosey pillow and so i think it came out really well Next, I'm going to take pizzas that I printed out. One is a window. One is a female Pikachu. These, the rest is posters, by the way. This is porcine. A porcine. More paper pencil that I'm using as a poster. These are for my war. And these are Kawaii Pikachu's. That is a regular Pikachu wearing asses hat. And these are Hello Kitty. This is Hello Kitty with her friend and melody and my melody in a hello kitty hot air balloon and this is hello kitty and my melody and i also printed out fruits basket kawaii pizzas and I printed out a female Pikachu wearing a dress, a bow, and flats. And so I'm going to use these scissors again. Okay, I'm done cutting these pizzas out. Now I'm just going to take them to the scrapbooking grid or paper we're going to want to tape one in the middle and on the sides okay so i'm going to take 
this big pizza of Pikachu. I mean female Pikachu. And I want it right here on the corn roll. So I'm just going to stick it down like that.